Thank you, Madam President, and uh, I'm really delighted to be here in the European Parliament and to meet you. Uh, first of all, I just want to express the gratitude to you personally and to the European Parliament for a very strong support to Ukraine, uh, to condemn the Russian aggression and also to work with EU member states, with the Council, uh, to make all the sanctions regime, all the support for Ukraine uh, also uh, very efficient and viable. We discussed, as the President said, the current uh, situation in Ukraine. I reiterated Latvia's uh, stance that uh, we must start accession talks with Ukraine and Moldova um, next year, and we do hope that the European Council in December will make the decision based on the recommendation of the European Commission. Uh, we also discussed the need for the European Union to be stronger when it comes also to defence and foreign policy. I think it is very important that the European Union also works to build up more defence capability to address defence industrial capabilities, the issues that uh, we need to do in uh, view of the current geopolitical challenges we all face. And also I want to say that uh, from our perspective we do believe that uh, we need to look into the situation when it comes to Ukraine, when it comes to Moldova, when it comes to the accession process as a long-term gain for both EU and also for the eastern part of Europe. But having said that, we also should not forget about the Western Balkans, about the need also to address long-standing issues there. We need also to have a tangible progress when it comes to the enlargement policy in the Western Balkans, because both at this point are the issues of the credibility for the European Union. And indeed, as uh, the President said, uh, we also discussed uh, issues that are related to current uh, development of the situation in the Middle East. I think that uh, here I can absolutely echo what uh, uh, the President of the Parliament just said. The European Union uh, need to have more active, more credible voice and role in the region and also internationally. We can play a more active role if we can get more united position within the European Union, and that is something that is badly needed. Thank you.